In this video, we're going to learn how to get started with the BME680 Environmental Unit. It's a fantastic all-in-one package that includes sensors for measuring temperature, humidity, pressure, and volatile organic compounds. We're going to wire it over I2C to two popular boards, the Node MCU development board for the ESP8266 and the Arduino Uno. We're going to use the Arduino IDE to upload code to each board that will allow us to get all the measurements from the sensors. All right, let's do this. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a breakout board for the sensor that'll make my life easier for wiring it to each development board. I'll use the Node MCU development board for the ESP8266, an Arduino Uno clone, and some DuPont mail to mail wires to connect everything together. All of these components can be found in my little Amazon shop. The BME680. It's a tiny package that packs a lot of punch. It includes four different sensors that allow us to measure humidity, temperature, pressure, and volatile organic compounds. For getting started in the Arduino IDE, we'll go through the tools menu and select manage libraries. We'll search first for the BME680 library, and we'll also need to install the Adafruit Unified Sensor Library that can be found if we scroll all the way to the bottom. With the libraries installed, we can go through the file menu and look at the examples for the Adafruit BME680 library. I'll go ahead and open the BME680 test sketch. With the default options, everything is ready to be run as is. I'll simply change the speed for serial communication. In the loop function, we can see all the different function calls that we need to get each measurement from the sensor. The way we're going to wire things up is by using only four wires, two for power and two for the I2C communication. I'll go ahead and connect everything together using the 3.3 volt pin on the Node MCU board and the ground pin for the power connection. Then for I2C, I'll connect the clock line to D1 and the data line to D2 on the Node MCU development board. Having already installed the USB drivers for communicating with the board, which can be seen in the video that's linked in the description, I'll go ahead and connect the Node MCU board to my USB port on the computer. With the board connected via USB, I can go through the tools menu and select the correct board, Node MCU version 1.0, and the correct port. Once I do this, I can go ahead and upload the test code. After the code is uploaded, I can open the serial monitor and see all the measurements being printed out to the serial monitor. To make sure that the sensor is actually working, I can place my finger on top of it and see the measurements for both temperature and humidity rise. One thing we can easily change is the default I2C address by connecting the SDO pin to ground. Doing this changes the default address from hexadecimal 77 to 76. As the library is written for the default address, we'll need to specify the new one as a parameter in the begin method. If we re-upload the code and open up the serial monitor, we can see that everything is working as expected. Now we can move on to wire the sensor with the Arduino Uno clone. We do it in a similar way than we did for the Node MCU board, the two I2C wires will go to SCL and SDA respectively, and the two power wires will go to ground and 3.3 volts. 
Again, having the USB drivers installed, as I've shown in another video, I'll go ahead and connect the Arduino Uno clone to the USB port of my computer. I'll make sure to select the correct board via the tools menu and also the correct port. After doing this, I can upload the code and with the code uploaded, I can open the serial monitor and see the measurements coming in. Again, to verify that everything is working, I can place my finger on the sensor and see the temperature and humidity increase. It's of course a little bit harder to change the pressure and I could use very carefully a burning piece of paper so that I can measure changes in the VOCs in the air. So there you have it. Really quickly, we've set up the BME680 breakout board to work with both a Node MCU and an Arduino Uno clone over I2C and get measurements for temperature, humidity, pressure, and VOC. If you like my videos, I invite you to my Patreon page where you can chip in a buck or two. That really helps me put in more time into the videos and release them quicker. But whatever you do, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. You can also interact with me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and you can even use the community tab of the channel. Thank you for watching my videos, and I will see you next time.